Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here and TGIF. It is Friday, finally Friday, right? Okay guys, I don't know about y'all, but I'm kind of feeling that majiggity feeling today like that cat on a hot tin roof. So we're going to dive right into this reading. If you are seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Don't forget, your horoscopes are up as well as your AI for the month. And I will be posting an AI for the weekend. I hope to here in a little while. Okay, so... How y'all feeling today? Y'all ready for the weekend? Everybody got special plans for the weekend? All right, let's see what the weekend holds for us. We're going to start with some angel messages. Angel messages. If you're coming into a collective reading and you've got a general question, by all the means, throw it out there. Let's see if Spirit answers it for you. If it does not, then seek a personal reading. All right. Oh, by the way, there are new monthly specials up for October. We have a love reading and a chicken bone reading. That's right. You heard me right. So you'll have to go over there and check it out. Okay, let's see what do we have going on for uh, for the weekend. It says cooperation instead of competition. Also throwing out there that following this, if you would like to join me on YouTube, youtube.com backslash psychic Jackie, I will be doing the spilling of the weekend tea. Uh, moonlighting. Oh, some of y'all doing a little second job, a little side hustle there. It says, God is your source, reminding you of that. And ask for your needs to be met. People, it is that simple. Just ask. Crazy, right? Just ask. Release jealousy. You know that's coming from the enemy. That is that little green monster that will eat you up. And some of you are looking at a partnership. Now, this could be in love. And this could be in business. Okay. We do have a partnership here. Okay. Successful funding. If you guys are working over the weekend, it's going to be worth your time. And it says focus on your priorities. Get your priorities together and dreams of abundance. Pay close attention to those dreams of abundance. Because you know what? This country is headed to being debt free quicker than you think. All right, let's go on continue with these angel messages. Let's continue with these angel messages. What you need to know. We have, <clears throat> guys, you are special. Sometimes something you need to be reminded of. And look through the situation. Don't just glance at it. Look through it. Analyze that situation that you're dwelling on. And it says, think about it. So this is telling me to tell you, Slow down, no quick actions, no quick decisions, okay? <clears throat> That's the way the weekend's going to roll. Then we have, ha ha, y'all hate me when I say this, but this is what the angel says, divine timing. Do y'all see that imprint? Do you see that? It's all about divine timing, and I'm telling you, we're coming up on something because your psychic is feeling a real majiggity, okay? And make a wish. Something that simple. Ask for what you want. Ask for a sign. And then make a wish. <clears throat> Trust your intuition. It says you already know. And above all, love yourself. You need to put some attention on yourself this weekend. Okay. With that, we have friendship. Reconnecting with friends. Spending time with friends. But work on your friendships this weekend. And now, Archangel Michael is at the wheel. All righty. <clears throat> Good angel messages here. Let's get into this reading for the weekend. And then we got a little dirt throwing. I'm going to do it at the end because I missed yesterday's dirt throwing session. I'm just saying. All right. So what do we need to know? What do we need to know? It's always the focus. Sometimes it's a little different than your line of questioning. And sometimes it comes through with exactly what you need to know. What you need to know. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. For the weekend. Ooh, we're going to start with the emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Person of authority coming in to save the day with the death card energy. And we have, ooh, the unknowing, guys. Okay. 
So, starting out with a strong read for the weekend, probably why I'm feeling a little bit jiggity. You've got this dominant person at play, and you have the death card energy saying there's going to be an ending. There cannot be a new beginning without an ending. Hi, Ms. Angelique. How are you, dear? Thank you. And the death card energy, the ending that I'm talking about, there's going to be an ending, and then it's followed by a powerful new beginning, and that unknowing, well, guys, I want you to expect the unexpected this weekend. Good, bad, and ugly. Expect the unexpected. I also see the letter P. We have the Knight of Swords. It's going to be quick moving and something is rushing in. And what's rushing in? Why, it's a new beginning in love. Open your hearts. Now, that is the center you're reading. This could be the love of a significant other. This could be the love of family and or friends. But open your heart. And we have the Three of Pentacles. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I feel like a cat on a hot tin roof, but I'm doing good. The Three of Pentacles that says there will be some long-term financial planning. Okay? Let me ask you this, and I really want you to sit back and think about this. What are you going to do with your income when you're debt-free? What are you going to do with your income when you're debt-free? Yes, you heard that correctly. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. The news that that money is coming in. It's not going to be this weekend, but you may be getting news from me. And you may be getting that news from me. Some of you, single, independent, taking care of you. Some of you are choosing to be single. And you know what? There's 200% nothing wrong with that. And we have the moon. Well, remember, guys, we are under those double moons from now until November 25th. So, yeah, you might feel a little bit of a jiggity just as well. And we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, it says, shh, shh, keep some things to yourself. Thoughts, <clears throat> ideas, opinions. Someone is willing to steal from you. Someone is copycatting you as we speak. So you need to know that. Now, let's go a little further with these messages. Okay, we're going to start with this emperor. This dominant, prominent, this take charge type person that is here for the weekend says, ooh, let's avoid some family drama. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Say nothing. Walk away. Take the higher road because the sun shines brightly in all that you do. I also want to throw out there unicorns. Pictures of unicorns, signs of unicorns are going to indicate that you guys are on the right path. And we have the Page of Swords. Some of you have a secret admirer about to pop forward very briefly. In other words, I don't see them popping up and say, hey, I'm in love with you. No, I'm just not going to be like that. But they're just going to pop up out the blue and know that this is your secret admirer that may come forth at a later date. Happy birthday, Sherry. We got a birthday in the room. Very nice. Okay, then that death card energy. Remember, y'all, it's going to be a closure this weekend. Comes with a Libra-type energy. You could be dealing with someone in authority, someone that wears a uniform. I hear a power struggle, someone in a struggle for power. <sighs> and we have the Hermit. Ha-ha, <laughs> there it is. You're on the right path. It doesn't never feel like you're on the right path when I tell you you are, but you are indeed on the right path. And we have, cannot make this up, Three of Pentacles over the Three of Pentacles. There is going to be some long-term financial planning. So again, folks, I'm going to put it out there. What is your plan when you're debt-free? Now is the time for you to start thinking that way. Now is the time for you to release the thoughts of poverty manifest it and put some serious thought behind it part of your unknowing is oh wow someone is looking at you as a co committed relationship someone wants a commitment from you you could have a decision to make because like i said some of you are choosing to remain single but someone wants to come in and offer a commitment 
You need to know, like I said, if you're working this weekend, your hard work is going to pay off. Some of you are looking at raises and or promotions, and some of you, <clears throat> well, actually, you may be gifted some money over the weekend. So I want to throw that out there, too. Okay? And then we have the moon again. The bajiggity. The bajiggity says you're on the right path. Trust it. Just like that angel said, trust your intuition. You need to trust your intuition. Ha ha. Me too, Angie. Me too. And what else is rushing in this weekend? Ooh, you've got decisions to make that you've been putting off. Time to make some decisions. And you've got a big offer of love coming in. Wow, a big offer. Again, this could be your significant other. It could be from family. It could be friends. But someone's coming in to extend that offer of love to you. I feel uh, strongly that someone is coming in to give back what you've given. Okay? What is it? Reap what you sow? Trust where you're being led, guys. You're being led to victory and success. Some of you uh, could be asked to do some public speaking. Some of you could be in the limelight. If you're not into public speaking, you may be asked to train a group of people. But there's something there that's going to put you in the spotlight. Okay? Okay. Center of the reading with that Ace of Cups and the new beginning in love. Oh, some of y'all looking at some travel plans. This guy, some of you looking to travel abroad, but I'm seeing more like a quick trip, like I'm running over to the state or whatever. Mm -hmm. That type of travel plans. Oh, and because of that moon energy, there is a loss of sleep. Yep, spoiler alert, loss of sleep. Crazy energy surrounding you, so just know it. And we have your new beginning. Guess what, guys? It's here. It's now. It's this weekend. Why? Because it's going to follow an ending this weekend. Now, when it comes to the endings followed by new beginnings, for some of you, it can be a little emotional. So what do you do? I want you to emote. I want you to emote. Okay? And then we have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles talking about that long-term financial planning. Okay, it's part of your wish fulfillment. A little bit of delay, and like I said, it's out there. It's going to be within reach, but it's within reach. That's the whole thing. Queen of Cups. Oh, guess what, guys? We got a power couple here at play. You offset each other very nicely. I want to throw out a Cancer and a Scorpio energy. May or may not resonate with you. And the thing about it is, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. This is asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. And we have the High Priestess. That High Priestess goes back to this angel messages at the beginning of the read. And I will be posting this reading in its entirety. Sometimes it takes a while for it to process, but I will get it up. Those angel cards said, trust your intuition. You guys are grounded and centered and you need to trust where you're being led. Knight of Pentacles comes in. This is the money of the long term. You are also dealing with someone with hazel or green eyes. This is going to be significant this weekend. Dare I say there's more than one offer of love here. So you, we could be covering it all. Family, friends, and significant other. But it's all about the love this weekend. Offers of love. Queen of Wands, you guys are doing something special for you. Good for you. Time to go out and treat yourself. This is Leo energy. Um, hair, nails, facials. Order that something from Amazon. It's time to treat yourself. Time for a glow up. I got two in the ring with green eyes. How cool is that? Queen of Pentacles, this is y'all. You're just in a good spot. Health, wealth, family, and friends, you are abundant. You're in a good spot. Do you see a little wine time here? So I have to say, if so you enjoy that glass of wine, you go right ahead. And that Nine of Pentacles, where I'm telling you, some of you are going to remain single. You are leaving the troubled waters and heading off into the calm. This is going to be, this is the time for you guys to take that sigh of relief. 
and it's fine and okay to take that sign of relief. The world, as in the world is your oyster. Y'all got the sun and the world and temperance. Sagittarius energy. Now, temperance says, change it up. Do things differently. Guys, the smallest changes. If you go to this grocery store, I don't want you to go to that one this week. I don't want you to go to the other one. If you bank at this branch, don't stop at that particular branch. Go to the other branch. If you get gas here, then get gas there. It is the smallest changes that changes everything. Thank you. And, yeah, just change things up. Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you guys. The moon, the moon energy. Again, with the death energy, you need to know there is an ending this weekend. This weekend, there will be an ending. And the messenger card. You are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius energy, by the way, other than me. So, you know. Hi there. And we have yet another power couple with the King of Pentacles. Uh, Lakeisha, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, King of Pentacles comes in and says, you are abundant in many, many, many forms. Um, hmm. A couple of things are jumping out here. Okay. A Gemini energy. Someone that is jealous of you. There's some jealousy that's going to surface. Some of you working in the medical profession may be connecting with someone in the medical profession. I want to throw that out there. And we also have something to do with fruit. What is it? Apple season here? You're picking apples? You're doing something? You're picking fruit. You're picking it. Like literally, literally, literally picking it. I see Jen has snuck in here. Alrighty. Four of Pentacles. What do we have with the Four of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. This is where I said, someone's stealing from you. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep. And you may like call that person out. There's your tower moment. Your anger. Your temper. You mouthing off. You say, having your say and walking away. Look there, poet didn't know it, right? There's that nine of wands that goes hand in hand with that hermit every single time. You feel bajiggity. That's it. We do have that special going on in the hangman that says you're not actually stuck, but you need to slow down a little bit. I want you to say slow down and enjoy the moment. That's what I'm hearing. All right, let's see if we can throw just a little bit of dirt because I missed it yesterday. Just a little bit of dirt or what you need to know. Look, we got jumpers. We've got a divine masculine and a divine feminine this weekend. Like I said, power couple time. And you need to know right here and right now that the grass is not greener on the other side. For those of you that are thinking that, be warned of someone putting you in competition with someone else, like someone putting you in competition with another woman. And again, let's expect the unexpected. And I'm sticking with some of you are staying independent, some of you are choosing to remain single. And we have, oh, yeah, there, mm. Y'all, be warned of someone putting you in a third party. You're better than that. Okay? And there's going to be a faded meeting. You're getting ready to run into someone like face-to-face. -face. Maybe that's part of why you're changing things up so you can run into this person. I know she did not. Never fear, Jenna's here. I'm about to buy her a cape. Y'all a trip. And it says, break out, surrender to the freedom, guys. Do you. Spend some time doing you. Okay? And when I say someone is looking at you for a commitment, I ain't gonna lie. When I say some of y'all are getting ready to get a marriage proposal, they really looking at you for the ever. Forever, forever. Someone that ghosted you in the past, well, guess what? 
they about to reappear. I'm not real sure how you're going to feel about that. But they're about to reappear. reappear. That could be your fated meeting. This is someone you thought the breakup was forever. And it's someone that may have broke your heart. Y'all, that might be your tower moment too. Okay? Some of you sticking close to home. And you know what? You need to know it's okay to do that. It's okay to do that. And um, let's avoid a karmic relationship. Yep, sticking close to home. Some of you getting ready to visit some water, ocean, river, or lake. And there's someone here in your circle this weekend. I'm going to say it, y'all. Someone that's cheated on you in the past, someone that broke you with your trust, guess what? they looking for a hookup. So you know. So you know. There's your dirt throwing. Your dirt throwing a little bit of a warning. Now let's continue on with your weekend read here. With some randoms. And don't forget, join me next on YouTube. YouTube.com backslash Psyche Jackie because I'm getting ready to spill the tea. Spilling the tea by the Zodiac. Aries through Pisces. Okay, so there is intensity in love. Singles and um, singles and couples. Um, also, remember I told you I watch for unicorns? Watch for eagles, too. Someone is coming in and asking for your forgiveness, and some of you are about to visit a farm. Funny, I'm thinking about visiting a farm this weekend. I just thought about that before I started this reading. Some of you are getting a new car, new transportation, and you are surrounded by angels. And remember, if you go back to the beginning of your reading, Archangel Michael is running the show this weekend. Someone's coming in to question you. Reconnect with nature. You're about to find something that was lost, like a lost item. You're getting ready to find it. You're reconnecting spiritually. Overcoming your phobias. Trust and faith. Some of you are taking some time for prayer and meditation. Getting lost in the arts. Being creative. This is here. And some of you are researching the holistic ways, and you may be visiting an Indian reservation. Want to throw that out there as well. And for my couples, the ones that are currently coupled, there that might be your tower card moment where you just need to corner out. Communication a little rough and a little bumpy for those of you that are in a couple situation. Okay. Now let's see what Kipper has in store for you before I close you out with some affirmations for the weekend. Looks like a good weekend, but I'm telling y'all, I still feel bajickety, and it's because we're under an ending and a new beginning that places us on the right path. Great fortune need to come of that abundant mindset, and I cannot stress to you how important that is this weekend, abundance, okay? There's going to be a message that puts a smile on your face. Someone sees you as privileged. There is an aha moment. Something. Everything's going to come full circle and make total sense this weekend. Could be dealing with an older man. This man in particular has white, gray, silver hair. Facial hair. Could be blonde. Okay. And we have unexpected income. Unexpected income. We have that... Um, May male. May male coming in looking for attention. And be warned of that shady person. I want to throw out the letter S, the letter C, and the letter M for the shade. And again with the intensity and love. Some of you are going to hear of a marriage. Someone is going to get a proposal. Someone is getting a proposal. And you will see that um Secret of Meyer surface briefly. So let me say this. For those of you that are selling a house, for those of you that are buying that house, that contract could very quickly go down this weekend. And some of you are getting ready for a residential move. If you were asked to do something with your community, I want you to do so because you know what? There's something here that says it's going to supersede your expectations. All right, gang. Looking good, looking good. Y'all know what your warnings are. Let's close you out with some affirmations also. Special this weekend. 20-minute special on a love read. 
And if you've never had your chicken bones thrown, it's an October special as well. Okay, it says you can't change anyone else, just yourself. I am filled with love and light. I am peaceful with the one and with the earth. I'm telling y'all, grounded and centered. Ha ha, pick a tarot card and that's your answer. This is your lucky day. I want you guys to think about a question of yes or no and I'm going to put it out there to a fresh tarot deck. You are entering a time of happiness. It says the universe is spreading. Listen with all your heart. Listen with all your heart, okay? And it's okay for me to cry when I need to and that's what I'm talking about. There is a closure this weekend. There is an ending, and it's followed by a powerful new beginning, and you guys need to know it's okay to emote. So, now, your question was yes or no. Yes or no, let's put it out there. Let's get this done. One card only for your yes or no. One card only on the yes or no. How about I give y'all a maybe? I'm going to lean more towards a yes. More towards a yes on this. And again, let's watch for that eagle. All right, gang. That's what I have for you for the weekend read. Don't forget to join me for the spelling of the tea. I am available this weekend at JackieTomlin.com. You guys have a fantastic afternoon. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye, gang.